He was very fun. He was a great dad. And he was a good husband. Since 2014, life has been different for Heather Livengood. It's difficult to raise children by yourself. Her husband, Rich, an Omaha firefighter, passed away, but not in the line of duty. I'd come to grips and was okay with him possibly dying in the line of duty, um, doing the thing that he loved, helping others. I don't think I will ever come to grips with the fact that he took his own life. As a firefighter, so much goes into helping others that you may forget to help someone who needs it the most, yourself. We actually had no idea what was going on. Being a first responder is a tough job, not just for the work you do, but the things you end up seeing. You'll see a lot of trauma, you'll see a lot of death, um, and I think one thing firefighters sometimes struggle with is a lot of those at times are preventable. You know, you might see a death related to a crash because somebody was drinking and driving. If you're having like a post-traumatic stress response, a lot of that is normal in the beginning when you're exposed to trauma, but if it's not handled, and it generally will get worse as time goes on, and worst case scenario can lead to suicide. A recent report showed firefighter suicides in 2019 are almost more than double the number who died in the line of duty. And those suicides are just the ones reported, so the number may be even higher. It's definitely a huge concern in the fire service. And in Omaha, we've experienced um, recently a suicide uh, in June of 2019. With those concerns, departments across the nation like Omaha Fire are working to eliminate a stigma that first responders shouldn't ask for help. Firefighters traditionally um, have wanted to fix problems and it has in years past been perceived as a weakness. If you admit that, hey, I'm struggling, I'm having a hard time, I might be depressed, I might have anxiety, um, all of those things were perceived to be a weakness. There's also outside organizations like the First Responders Foundation that are spreading the message. Mary Rosenthal continues to talk with firefighters about the importance of seeking help. You go to the doctor when you, you know, have an ache in your arm. Why not go to the doctor when, you know, you're having thoughts or you're having issues or something like that? It should be considered the same thing. There's a continued effort for peer support as well, as many in OFD are trained to look for signs of a fellow coworker dealing with mental health concerns. The peers are trained listeners. They don't obviously provide therapy, but they can provide gentle advice on how to manage stress in healthy ways. Those peers are now taking what they learned from that training and are teaching others from other departments. The better we can train our peer support and the more people we can have being that voice of it's okay to talk, it's okay to ask for help, the better the department will be in the long run. Keeping the conversation going is another critical part as Live and Good is encouraged by all the changes and hopes others won't go down the same path as her late husband. I am super happy and I think it's a great first step, but I do think it just needs to continue to grow. I hope that they will get help before they take their life. Heather, among others, are also working on legislation with Senator Tom Brewer to help firefighters get the help they need so they can return to the job.